Trek of Macabre, everybody. It's me, Dr. Fuck, with another Trek by Trek album battle. Now we're gonna go uh, into like a hair farmer, hair metal, as you will, with the first Skid Row album versus Dr. Feelgood. I think they both came out the same year, pretty sure. Um, both huge albums. What album do I like more? This one. This one. No. There are a couple songs I like off it. Will these couple songs beat the songs on this album? We shall see. So let's get into this, okay? We got uh, Big Guns versus TNT Terror in Tinseltown, which is just a little tiny instrumental that kind of sucks. So I'm giving that one to Skid Row. I like Big Guns. Good song. Uh, Sweet Little Sister versus the song Dr. Feel Good. Um, I'm giving that one to Motley. I actually like Dr. Feelgood. I think it's the best song on the album. And Sweet Little Sister, though, it's not terrible. It's not, like, mind-blowing either. So I'm going to give that one to Motley. All right. Then we got Can't Stand the Hard Egg versus Piece of Your Action, right? I mean, Piece of Your Pie. They're both horrible. Oh, I can't stand the heartache is my least favorite song on this album, and Slice Your Pie is definitely not my least favorite. I just thought of my least favorite song off this album, so I'm gonna give that one to Motley, man. Wow, I didn't think Slice Your Pie would ever win anything, but there you go. Uh, Piece of Me versus Rattlesnake Shake, not even close. Piece of Me rules. Rattlesnake Shake sucks. That's fake horns. That's fake as Motley's contract to not go on the road again. So, uh, yeah. Rattlesnake Shake. Bleh. Piece of Me rocks. Probably my favorite song off this album? I think so. We'll see. Let's keep going. All right. 18 in Life versus Kickstart My Heart. Mm. You know, I mean, they're both great. I do like... Uh, I do like 18 in Life. I actually like that song. Mainly because Sebastian. He screams his ass off. But you know what? I'm giving that one to Motley. My second favorite track off there. Fuck it. Three to two. I don't think Motley's going to be in the lead anymore. But let's see. Um, Rattlesnake Shake. They have a song called Rattlesnake Shake as well. Uh, versus... Without you. Well, I'll tell you, if I was to put Rattlesnake Shake against Motley's version, I would pick Rattlesnake Shake. Not a great song. I, I'll be honest. The Skid Row, Rattlesnake Shake, it's whatever. Uh, Without You is fucking abysmal. It is such a, like, a terrible ballad. Terrible ballad. It's as fake as uh, the marriage, the, the, what the song's about. You know, it's a song about Heather Locklear and Tommy Lee, their marriage. So that song fails just like their marriage. So I'm giving that one to Skid Row. It's a tie. And I don't think Motley's going to take no more leads on here. All right, so we got uh, Youth Gone Wild versus Same Old Situation. Not the biggest fan of either, either of them, but I'm giving that one to Skid Row. I actually am. It's okay, you know. Youth Gone Wild is okay. Um, same old situation. No, I don't care if it's about lesbians. All right, Here I Am versus uh, Sticky Sweet. <sighs> here I Am. And I don't even love Here I Am that much, but Sticky Sweet is just so fucking ridiculous. Um, Making a Mess. That song rocks. I don't think, it, I don't think that's going to lose. Against... She goes down. I told you. Another one for Skid Row. Okay. Um, I remember you versus don't go away mad, just go away. You know what, man? Not a fan of either one of them, but I don't really hate I remember you. It's a nice little ballad, and Sebastian sings so good on it. Um... Don't go away mad. It's like, hey, man, let's try to be bad company or some shit. 
but you're not bad company. You're fucking Molly Crew. And that song sucks. I remember you get, gets that one. Now we're down to the last track. And that is uh, Midnight slash Tornado versus, got to say, the worst song on the album. Time for change. What the hell? We are the world type bullshit. I mean, really? They needed to go. You know, Motley Crue were sober during this time. This is when they got all clean. And they needed drugs, really, seriously. Not that the drugs were helping them much during the two albums prior to this, but time for change, or time for a change. It, along with Brandon's, probably the worst Motley Crue song ever. And Midnight Rocks and Tornado's even better. I love that ending. So there you go. Skid Row got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Motley got three. What a blowout. It is a better album. I like this one more. This one sold 10 million albums, man. I'm sure it sold more than this, even though this one sold quite a few million. But hey, this one's more popular. But I'm not trendy. Fuck Dr. Feelgood. That shit sucked for the most part. Anyway, if you like what you saw, please subscribe and click the bell, ring the bell. And uh, I'd appreciate that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one, man. Schmack a gob. This video was brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs and competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you. A lot of you been asking for it. Schmack em a gob merch. Yes, many types of shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it. Plus other stuff like shower curtains and bedspreads and mugs and socks and clocks. And oh, I can go on. But why should I? The link is below. Just click the link below in the description for all the Schmack em a gob merch. Order yours now. Schmack em a gob. You asked for it? Well, it's finally here by popular demand. The Dr. Fuck shirt at redbubble.com. Also available in many other styles, including hoodies. The link is in the description below. Buy yours now. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say. And we're going to go back and forth. And I'll even fucking play whatever request you want. Unless it sucks, then I ain't playing it. Because my show rules. And only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker.